This hashtag PBT episode is brought to you by Dr. T's Primary Care for Men and Women. Go to www.drtees.com for information on how you can boost the quality in your life. Also brought to you by Rody's Country Fried Chicken and Eagle Pass. Serving the most delicious fried chicken and gizzards for the past 40 years. Check out their new outdoor location close to the Kickapoo Casino. Follow them on Instagram at Rody's Eagle Pass. You know what? I praise the Lord that in his jefes. I learned a lot from my dad. Me había veces que, que no había entrada de dinero. My dad, mira, mi hijo, vamos pidiéndole al Señor hoy en la noche. Pero rezale, pero pídele con ganas. And the following day, que traba trabajo. Mm-hmm. One way or the other, but just to keep on going. Yeah. And back then, hermano, había mucha unidad entre la familia. Uh-huh. Que es una de las cosas que he notado yo que se está perdiendo. Oh, yeah. ¿Me entiendes? La familia, to me, is really important. Okay? My grandparents' house, ese era el nido de los pulidos. When they passed, my dad's house era el nido. Uh-huh. When they passed, and now, la casa mía, tu casa casa del público, te voy a decir, es donde nosotros nos juntamos. Yeah. Y de la mía, That's la, it, man. You took over that needle, man. Pues, I, I you know, know what. You brought uh, everybody together and you're still trying to hold down to the family unit, you know? Yeah. And still working at it, right? It's, 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 it gets a little bit rough, pero, ¿sabes qué? Mi jefito con los puros ojos te hablaba. Hey. And yo, mi respeto es para mi señora esposa Diana. I'll tell you what. I have a very beautiful and wonderful wife. Pues estar casada Because, con un músico, bro. <laughs> no, te voy a decir una cosa. She is the one that took care of my kids when I would have to hit the road for three months. And yeah. Wow. Como en tres ocasiones. And I remember que, oh, she was, my dad would take them so I could see them in, uh, cuando íbamos papá a, a Chicago y cosas así. Porque de ahí le pegamos para el West Coast. Uh-huh. Stuff like that. Now, I go back. I go back. Mi, mi hijo Marco me dijo un día, dijo, Dad, you know what I have something that I got to confess to you? Tell me. Man, you know what? I used to hate you. What? You were always gone. But then I grew up and I see where I was raised. Uh-huh. And now I know yeah. why you were gone todo el tiempo. It's it's a very very different uh, dynamic to be in a family that have musicians <coughs> and that have touring musicians like back then you know being living out of a tour bus you know Silver Eagle you know? my but my my dad would say viejito si se viene la cosecha vale más que la pizca por si no se va a pudrir that's right mm-hmm. so dice aquí uh, you were born and raised in Edinburgh Texas to Jose Don Chuy Pulido and Adelina Pulido. Así mero. First gained interest in the music industry after his uncle Lionel Pulido's band Los Cardenales de Lionel Pulido introduced him to the genre and taught him the basics of music. Is that true? Yes, sir. I used to play music and norteña con mi tío Lionel cuando íbamos cada vez a trabajar en California. Mm-hmm. And uh, tell you what, she made a better She made a bit of a decision on me because no quería que echara mentira. Yeah. And like, you know what? Sometimes I listen to some of the stuff that I did way back then. Yeah. And, damn, man. <laughs> uh, but then again, wow. I, used to, I used to practice four yeah. or six hours a day. Hey, that's what it takes. Yeah. To be and, the best in the caliber that you are. Yeah. Um, and the only reason why I started six is I got there. It says at the age of 12, Pulido repaired his grandfather's guitar and began playing it and singing it around the house. Yeah. That's true? Wow. Yeah, that's true. That? Wow. Mi abuelito se encontró una guitarra mm-hmm. en un remate, o sea, en un flea market. Sí. Y pues estaba toda, porque te la joya, más que me la arregló bien, y luego, y luego papá decía, 
A ver, mijo, ¿qué está el otro lado del disco? Le dije, pues poco a poquito estaba aprendiendo, ¿me entiendes? I mean, that's, you gotta make mistakes to learn. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, you know, so far, this Wikipedia is all right I on know, top of it, that's right? Because awesome, yeah. usually Wikipedia has a couple of mistakes in there. We'll see if we find one. When he was 15, he joined Los Hermanos Leighton in Elsa, Texas. 15 years old? Yes, sir. You were a young teen, man. And what did man, you. I was better looking too. Yeah, well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I am going to concur with that yes, because we have too. some pictures me of too. him that we're going to show you in a little bit. This guy was a handsome dude, <laughs> you know, mm, a handsome, handsome teen. Mm -hmm. So we'll show you some pictures in a little bit. So then you were with Los Hermanos Leighton, Benny Leighton. What are the memories you got of Los Leightons, man? Man, I tell you what, with una familia, una familia muy unida. Mm -hmm. Toner, René. Norfilia, y luego también el besista Gilbert González. Uh, Chavas, Oscar Díaz, también de Houston Play the Sax. Hoy, hoy este día fui a, a echarle filo a una de las de, de, de los, uh, del seis años que tengo. Uh -huh. Y un señor me conoció, dijo: Oye, Roberto, me acuerdo cuando aquí en la Meda cantabas tú el. el <risa> en, en los aficionados y nunca se volvió a que, que le calé iba a cantar una canción ahí y número uno el aplauso de número dos y cuando vino conmigo ¡bum! me quiero me quiero me lo llevo a esconderse but it was a blessing in disguise because I got to play the saxophone con los hermanos Leite yeah wow.